the beginner's guide, emotional unique experience, or just a pretentious waste of money? Well, I'm about to find out. Let's get into it. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. The Beginner's Guide lets you explore a game developer's work whilst being narrated by his friend Davy. Davy is in fact Davy Reedham, the developer of the title. Davy starts off by introducing you to the first level created by his friend Coda. The level is graphically basic using the Source engine, but that isn't what's intriguing about this game. You are taken through a timeline of levels designed by Coda, and what becomes abundantly clear is that Coda gradually struggles to find inspiration or connection from anything. He projects this into his levels, making them a graphical image of his disheartened mind state. Your purpose in this game is to travel through these levels, accompanied by David, and explore Coda's frustration and isolation, which have been translated into the levels he's designed. The level designs, whilst being basic, are fascinating, as they communicate the emotions Coda was feeling through the visuals created and the mechanics used. For example, one of the levels Coda designs is a prison. Another one is an endless loop of cleaning an apartment with an NPC. The interaction with the NPC feels like the sort of conversation you would have with a loved one you live with, homely, warm. This is further added to by the calm music playing in the background during this section. The narrator Davy expresses his concerns for Coda throughout the story and references real life interactions to add to this narrative of being a concerned friend, but later in the game this is questionable from some of the level designs by Coda. The Beginner's Guide is a really thought provoking experience in that you are interacting with the artist's expression of depression and isolation as well as frustration. Instead of having an aim or trying to achieve something from playing, you're an observer, a passenger in Coda's mind state, which is relatable to so many artists as well as people in general. This is a powerful way of seeing and feeling these emotions. What I love about the Beginner's Guide is that only from video games can you create this visual representation of someone's emotions without the need to see another person physically. The flip side of this, from a gaming perspective, is that what you are paying for is several levels from a developer's playground, which has then had a story narrative added to it to keep it interesting. I think depending on how you see things, you will either be blown away by the experience, or you'll think the gameplay is boring and it wasn't for you. Me personally, I agree with the former. I wouldn't call it a video game per se, more like an interactive experience of another person's mind. If this sounds something like you'd enjoy, then I can't recommend the beginner's guide enough. For me, it is an amazing experience and I did not regret playing it. I've made this a bit of a quick one as I want people to go in with a fresh mind for the experience. In total, I completed the beginner's guide in an hour and a half and I highly recommend you play this through in one sitting as to not break immersion. If you decide to pick this up, let me know in the comments what you thought on the story as I have a couple of theories of my own. If you didn't like it, let me know why. I'd be interested to find out. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.